Hello everybody, my name is Connor, I'm the Void Link Prince, and welcome back to the Void, everybody. It's been a little bit of a hot minute since I've, since I've live-streamed, but welcome back, guys. Uh, honestly, it's good to be back. Um, as you can see, I've got some things uh, that I need to fix regarding um, the video quality on this project. Buffering so much. I don't know why it's buffering so much. Hold on. Damn, the stream just went really downhill. Holy crap. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Holy shit. Uh, also, I am making a post on Facebook just really quick because I forgot to do before I started streaming. crafting things today. Hanging out, crafting things. Oh, I made my stomach drain. So, we're going to be crafting a little bit tonight. Um, hanging out, chatting. Uh, it's going to be my podcast up and running, which I did. There we go. Chat is up and running. So, feel free to talk to me in chat, everybody. Hopefully, everybody. Um, I do have chat up and running right there. I do not have a keyboard. I've got my stream going on my Xbox Live so I can keep an eye on it. Uh, invite people, by the way, guys. Uh, please, please, please feel free to invite people. Uh, the more the merrier, the better the conversations. Awesome. Once again, guys, feel free to invite friends, invite anybody you think would benefit from uh, the crafting tonight. So, for any of you who have been in, uh, who have played Ants Guard, you know what I'm talking about when I say I'm going to be making belt favors. I'm not just belt favors, but pockets of belt favors. I'm going to go ahead and make those happen for you guys. specifically talking about belt favors. So, these belt favors in particular, um, you can see basically the belt goes to a loop in the top, the belt really is, that's a belt favor. However, this one's a pocket belt favor. Um, so this is one I made last week or the week before. This is one that was made um, by somebody else, and I know I know exactly the it goes after the top of my head. Now, I am definitely not good enough to try and embroider uh, letters or patterns onto this box yet. But basically, just to show you an example of what we will we will be making tonight, um, I've got a bunch of black cloth that we're going to be using. So. Because uh, I'm going to need those to remember how I did it. <laughs> uh, so uh, let's go ahead and jump over to the tools panel. Uh, go ahead and change this to that. So everybody, oh, I'll keep this stuff. This stuff's gonna be good. All right. So what we're gonna need tonight is you can't see it, but I have a sewing machine over here. 
You will need a pair of scissors uh, if you're going to follow along. Measuring tape because uh, you will want to measure this out. You can see side to side this is 5 inches so you will want an extra inch um, for the excess which as you can see here guys it is sewn on the inside so between these two flaps that make the loop right here it is sewn on the inside so again uh, however thick however wide you want to make your belt favor I do suggest having about an inch that way you have half an inch of material on either side to uh, fold in and sew and you can trim it down if necessary this this one's probably about six or seven probably about six inches right here because it's measuring at five and a half um, now the length is important guys so as you can see uh, the belt loops right here are both um, two and a half inches long so you will want right here five inches worth of space past that to make the pocket um, you know I what I did was I used the entire strip of what I had um, the entire strip of cloth that I had on me so this ended up being you know an extra 16 inches so we're looking at roughly uh, let's see so this strip of cloth so we're talking about an 8 inch pocket yeah 8 inch pocket so that's 8 down 8 back up but because this part is double right here is 16 and then you're gonna have to measure the entirety of the cloth for the back. So, 16 for the pocket is what I have. And then up to the belt loop, that's two ply right there. So that's 11 inches, so 22 inches. So what, what is that? 16, 22, uh, 38. And then, again, double ply right here so you're looking at uh, three six so you're looking at like four feet of material for this size pocket um, this one was probably I don't know maybe three and a half feet uh, so you will want an extra inch maybe half on the sides for the extra material to be folded in so that when you sew it and turn it inside out it's nice and clean like both of those um, I have two yards so we'll probably probably be making smaller pockets since we're gonna be using three foot strips um, they'll be a little a little more shallow um, I do have a shallower one I think in my room but let's see. I don't know. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, anyway, so you'll want scissors. You want plenty of the material to make your shapes and whatnot. Uh, you will be wanting a cloth marking pencil because you will want to mark out your lines for when you cut the material. Pin cushion because it's e easy for me to keep the bobby pins, which there you go, to keep the bobby pins um, easily accessible. Uh, also, for my purposes, you will want something to drink because <laughs> you will need something to drink every once in a while. Obviously, um, let me actually. There we go. Now it's picking up my voice much, much better. Uh, so let's see measuring tape scissors bobby pins pin cushion pencil um, drink for all intensive purposes sewing machine oh yeah one more thing guys um, I don't have one for some odd reason I need to uh, move the camera just a little bit 
configure video. Uh, what? Nope, wrong way. There we go, much better. So, uh, one thing that I don't own that you will prob probably need, uh, as you can tell, the difference in these. This one was ironed, this one was not. So you will need a steam iron in order to iron out the fabric once it's done, before and after uh, the crafting purposes. Hopefully, 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 you guys are jumping in. Um, I should probably copy this and send it to my Discord. Okay, uh, let's send it into the void Discord channel. Uh, I don't need it. Uh, paste. Um, there's no send button, so I need my keyboard. Ah, quick. Enter. Okay, there. So, das is that. Okay, uh, stream notice. Paste that there. Uh, boop, 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 Okay. Oh, yeah. And then send it to Solaris, even though he's not PM'd. Uh, streaming the crafting of belt favors. If anyone is interested. I do not need this anymore, hopefully. <clears throat> there we go, okay. So, back to the stream, people. Uh, back to that, back to this, good. Okay, so, let us get started. So, like I said, I'm going to be doing six inch strips. So, measuring tape. Um, this did literally just come out of the package, so it is, for all intensive purposes, pre-ironed, thankfully. Oh, excuse me. Oh, Pepsi makes my stomach gassy. I'll be okay, guys. I'll try not to burp too loudly. So, uh, yes. We want six inches worth of material. TV remote. Okay. So, post that there so that I can do that. Get. Wait a minute. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, for all intensive purposes, let's just say seven and a half inches. Okay. Or not seven and a half, six and a half. So, we'll say six and a half. There. Uh, there. Again, guys, feel free to talk to me in chat. I do have chat up and running. So. Let's go ahead and get this strip cut out. Move stuff around. Move stuff around. Okay. So, uh, if you've got a cutting board, sweet. Um, if not, then hopefully you have some way to keep your scissors lined up. Thankfully, I do because I've got a foldable table that has the, uh, oops, uh, that has the center crease right there. So I can at least use the fold of my table as a quote unquote guide. Um, most people who do fabric crafting, they have an actual board. Uh, 
plastic board they can lay out. Uh, they probably have a circular cutting disc that they can actually use on the board to cut it out. Uh, but me, I do not have said materials at the moment. Uh. Now, of course, I'm going slightly slow to make sure that I don't oh, cut it the wrong way. Also, slightly slow so I can make sure that I stay on a fairly straight line. And I did. I do say fairly straight line. Now I did give like three quarters of an inch to an about half an inch to three quarters of an inch extra than what I said I was going to use. So this should be a decent sized belt favor. So. That is cut. This should be good. So remember what I said about the measurements, guys? This is where we're going to measure out what we need. So probably need about two and a half inches worth of a belt loop right there. Good? So uh, let's go ahead and get our bobby pins. Anybody in chat? I see three people watching and probably one of them, maybe two of them, is me, because I got one there, one here. So, maybe one or two people watching. Who do we got? D! What's up, buddy? Oh, excuse me. Uh, what you been up to, brother? Um, once again, to reiterate, guys, I am doing this right here. Actually, I didn't even tell you uh, why I'm doing this here. So what I'm doing here is once I've got this part, the belt loop here, measured out, we are going then going to fold this part here to figure out how deep our pocket is going to be. So we're just uh, mapping everything out. So I've got those bobby pinned. The belt loop is looking pretty good. Uh, it's a little crooked, but you know, whatever. In my opinion, whatever. But at the same time, I've been a perfectionist my entire life, so we'll straighten it out later. But once that is done, then we can fold this part up and see just how deep our pocket is going to be. Which, uh, grabbing the black one that I had previously is going to be a deeper pocket, which is not bad. And, you know, using a full three feet worth of material here, maybe just a little bit wider. Yeah, it'll be roughly the same size as this one. Actually, the pocket yeah, it'll be roughly the same size as my purple one. That's not bad. Okay, so. Uh, and of course, purple pocket can easily fit my Pepsi in it. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. So, I just realized that, so that's nice. It's also going to be wider than my purple one, which is not bad. Uh, like I said, I... Actually, no. I gave it six and a half inches, so it might be just the same size, if not a quarter of an inch uh, wider. Um, D, you probably didn't catch the very front of the video, but basically we're making these uh, belt pockets for amp guard and whatnot. Um, this is my method. I figured I would do a video on it for any amp guard people who want to... Uh, 
who never had the pattern but want to learn how to do it. Um, I'm also going to zoom out my camera just a tiny bit. There we go, much better. Uh, this one. There we go. Right? Um, so, yeah. On top of the fact that later down the line, I will be doing videos on macrame belts. Uh, basically, the belts that you see out at AmpGuard a lot are macrame. I will be doing a video on a five-colored macrame belt that... Um, the colors specifically what I will be using are the colors for our um, our household out at park for uh, House Endelian. Oh. So I will be doing that. Okay, so what we are going to do is... Oh, uh, where's my purple? So as you can see, guys, um, the very, very lip of the pocket right here, you want to... Uh, so about an eighth of an inch in. Uh, this way it'll keep uh, your it'll keep that fold basically anchored uh, so to speak. So you want to have some sort of anchor to start yourself off on. Uh, this sewing machine is actually kind of old. Um, it is a brother XL 3200 um, Used to be my mother's. I don't remember where she got it from beforehand, but uh, she's trusted it a long time, and I do as well. Now, I do have black thread in right now, but I don't know if I want to do black or white thread on this. If I had other color threads, then it would be easy to choose, but black or white for black material. I think I will use white thread just to make it easier on us guys oh it also means that i have to switch out all the thread which means i gotta go in here flip this out you guys cannot see this at the moment wait do i have a extra shit no i don't all right i guess we're not doing that because my mother did not give me her sewing box. So I guess we're sticking with black. Oh well. Alright. So hopefully if you guys have relatively the same sewing machine, it'll be easy to quote unquote follow. Uh, into this. Like I said, uh, go about an eighth of an inch, an eighth of an inch in. Which, uh, you know, if, if you've got some whites of your fingers, fingernails, it's about. Um, you guys actually can't see what I'm doing right now. Uh, basically, it's a fingernail width in. So. Pinch, pinch it down, and you should be able to get good damn it, distance in. Um, if you can't figure it out that way, come on. You can always use your tape measure. Now, if you use your tape measure, uh, and, and you do it this way, you probably go... If your tape measure has this on it, by the way, the uh, brass tip, basically go half of the tip length. Alright, now that I have that, alright, uh, my suggestion at this point as well, guys, um, definitely start slow. Uh, manually have your needle go in about, in my opinion, four or five times before you end up 
hitting. Uh oh. Something's not working right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. For some reason, the machine does not want to pull my fabric. Like it should be. Probably because it wasn't on the uh, track well enough. Nope, it's not pulling my fabric. I don't know why. Oh, no, it is. Shit. Well, now that I just released the tension, I gotta redo it again. Oh, trial and error, guys. Everything about crafting in some sort of way is trial and error. Alright, so. Uh, don't worry, guys. If you're following along, you know, it's not going to be perfect the first time. Um, I got extremely lucky with my pur purple fabric because that's all the fabric I had before today. And I got extremely lucky when I was able to use all that fabric in a one shot. So. Come on. going but it's going very very slow and usually it's not this slow Did I just break? What the hell? Uh, what? Uh, that's weird. That is... Very weird. So, what? That makes no sense. I am so confused. What the hell happened? So, what? I have, I honestly have no idea what happened, guys. My mind broke? Question mark? Uh, and probably not my mind, but at some point, the thread that comes down and through the needle right here, um, because obviously there's one part that, uh, the needle goes down, the bottom part loops around that thread, and then the needle pulls up, and it basically creates this, uh, the threads basically between the fabric create this loop right in the in the fabric. Problem is the thread that is hooked in the needle to help create that loop at some point snapped in the fabric. I don't know where it stopped, but at the same time the bottom piece kept going. So somehow, I don't know where the needle thread part snapped, but at some point it did. 
and the bottom just kept going and it looks like yeah it looks like it got sewed the way I want it to but what the fuck I Crafting and sewing is a game of chance. This is a chance that I did not foresee. I'm so fucking confused. That's never happened to me before. Okay, so. Once you've got your anchor at the tip of the pocket. Um, in this case, I want this to be the outside. So, once again, you need to measure out where the belt loop and where the pocket is going to be. So, uh, once again, figure that out. And this is where it gets complicated, guys. Once you've figured out the sewing spots, um, you definitely want the tip, quote unquote, the tip, the lip, whatever you want to call it, of your pocket to be about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch below the sewing space of your belt loop. Um, you should be able to feel it out with your finger where there's a thinner spot and then going up high, you can feel where it's four pieces of fabric right here. Um, I know it's not great visual because I'm, I've got black cloth on a black table. <clears throat> but I need to figure out what happened to my thread. Okay, so. Oh, gosh. Comes down like that. Wait. Down like this. Up around that down and then here it's also very very dusty down here and I don't know why okay uh, down yes okay there we go Okay, I got it back through. Come on, let go. Let go. Let go. Ah, there. Okay. Boink. Okay. There. So, what was I saying? Oh, yes. Uh, you want to measure this out. Now, here's where the difficult part comes in, guys. Undo the belt loop. You want the backmost flap, so you want the front flap that's going to be connected to the belt loop, or not the belt loop, the belt pouch. Fold that over for a second. What you're going to do is undo it Pull your back flap straight again. And then this piece right here is technically going to be the outside of the pouch. So this part right here is going to be this part of the pouch. And then the inside of your belt loop. The reason we're doing this is once we turn this inside out, like if this was outside on the inside, your pouch right here would be here. Now, this is where the hard part comes in. The hard part is we need to fold the sides in properly. Um, so we need to flip this over. Because this is what I want the inside of the pouch side to be. We need to line up the edges here. 
Now, actually, depending on your fabric, and you've probably noticed that this is actually very, very fuzzy on the ends, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew the insides of my fabric real quick. So I'm just going to fold the edges of the fabric in and then sew that together. That way it makes it, it looks much nicer. Instead of me, what I did here is I sewed at, at the very, very end and then cut off the excess. This way there should be no excess and it'll look nicer when it's all said and done. So let's go ahead and get this. That is not going the way that I want it to. It's doing it again. Let me try knocking that back to two because that might have something to do with it. That is a huge, huge knot. I need my tool. You're still listening, aren't you, Dee? Ugh. Gotcha. I wish I could get some music in here, but I don't remember the name of that website that links with your Twitch account and then posts whatever the music slash song is in the chat. And if I had remembered it before the stream started, I would have gotten that started up. Oh, man. Okay. God, this is messy. There we go. Okay. So. Might have to go just a little bit farther in now. There we go. Much better. Oh, so much better. So, uh, D, what have you what have you been up to the past week? Oh, pretzel from. Wait, was it pretzel rock or pretzel ready? I hope. Shit. Uh, do do Wait, wait, wait. Did you actually get sick? Okay. 
I cannot have one of my few, one of the few best friends that I have catching COVID. <laughs> Did you actually fucking catch it? Or is it because of COVID that you're hanging out in a hotel room? Okay, so there was a chance that you had it, you got your test back negative. Dude, don't fucking scare me like that. <laughs> Gosh. That's not cool. Ooh. And yeah, I completely agree. That's actually really good that uh, you got it back negative. But, unfortunately, because rules, you probably still have to stay there for another week or two before they say, okay, go home. Right? Okay, um... So I think I remember that website. That's like Pretzel Rock or Pretzel Radio or something. Eh. Yeah, that's that's good. Um, okay. Pretzel Rock. That's what it was. Uh, pretzel Rocks. I think. At least this way I can get some fucking music going. Uh, play in browser, uh, sign up with Twitch, blah, 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 I don't need to sign up, I need to sign in. Play. There we go. D, just let me know if that's too loud. It's too quiet. If it's too quiet, I can turn it up. Problem is, I don't know if it's coming through, quote unquote, the speakers into OBS, or if it's coming from the website directly into Twitch. That's the only one part that I'm unaware of. Viking guitar. And there goes the uh, AC, so I don't know how that's going to pick up.
but at least I'm getting some cool air now. I mentioned DOD, but I got a job. scheduled day is. So, and technically they could have called me yesterday and today, so Monday, Tuesday. Haven't heard anything, so I will be calling Susanna tomorrow to ask when I'm scheduled. Granted, schedules come out on Thursdays, so hopefully she'll tell me that, you know, she needs to write up the schedule tomorrow. Or tomorrow's Wednesday. Uh, write up the new schedule Thursday, in which she will include my hours. But at the very least, I have like two and a half hours from orientation on my paycheck at the moment. I just don't know if this Friday is paycheck or next Friday is paycheck. But, either way, I have some sort of job. Okay, that's gonna be short. Uh, okay, so. Yes, okay, that's the other side. So be happy, D, that you're not at Amgard as of yet. Um, the reason for that is because there's a bunch of bullshit politics going on right now. More people are leaving the park as we speak. Because the park has decreased from what it used to be. <laughs> Urgh. correctly. Do that. Do this. Back like that. Back piece. Do this. Okay, so. Once again, guys, if you're following along, um, getting back to where we were before. So. You want to have pocket lip between the fabrics. From this point, whichever way you want the uh, front of the pocket to be, you need to flip that facing down. Now here's why. Um, when you flip when you flip that face down, we're going to be folding the sides right here up so that when we do this and we turn it inside out, you're going to have this sort of a seam, basically. Which actually, let me look at this real quick. Yes, okay. Turn that into a legitimate 
bold and seen. Now, when I did it on the purple, I used the bobby pins. You can use bobby pins uh, to hold the fabric folded. Um, however, with me at the moment, I trust I have trust and confidence in myself that I do not need to do that. Uh, to be totally and completely honest, I probably should. But, I'm not. And then, you just sew along the fold. Ow. No, okay guys, it wasn't a prick of the needle, it was a jam from the uh, bolt that was holding the needle. I crushed it crushed it my finger. So, everybody, if you are still following along, number one, thank you. Number two, what I'm doing is tying the threads three times, um, end over end through the loop three times to keep uh, the ends at least knotted and secure. Which I'm 
now trimming down to about an eighth or less. Okay. Now, you gotta be careful if you decide to do this because you don't want to accidentally cut the thread that is holding the fold closed. If you don't decide to do this, that's fine. Um, if you do decide to do this, that's also fine because if it gets jagged and messy of the cut, it won't be seen because it'll be inside. Uh, it'll be inside the quote unquote favor when uh, all is said and done. Basically, just nice while uh, not having too much excess on either side. You don't want it to be like flat on one side and bowed on the other. It's weird. It just makes it really weird. Once again, guys, uh, go ahead and tie each end of the thread. That way, it'll hopefully keep the fold from ever unraveling. 
See it? No, you can't see it in the background. Fuck. Oh my god. Okay. So I've I've started hanging Halloween lights, and the lights over my window decided to fall. It scared the shit out of me because I thought somebody was trying to fucking open my window. All right, guys. So looks like. We have both the folds entirely done. Now, I'm going to trim this real quick, and then we're going to turn this inside out. And hopefully, hopefully, our pocket will be practically done. Like I said, you don't have to trim the excess on the folds right here because it will be inside the belt favor. It won't be seen by anybody. But with me, it's just it, it makes it nicer. It makes it feel feel nicer on the outside. It doesn't feel like you left too much uh, unfinished business on the belt favor. On top of the fact that I'm a perfectionist, so yeah, I want it to feel good as much as look good. Alright, so that is that. Let's go ahead and turn it inside out and hopefully... Trying to pull it inside out. Urgh. Trying. Oof. Come on. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh. So it looks like it turned out exactly the way I wanted it to. Uh, let's go ahead and stick our hand in the pocket. Uh, kind of mess with this just a little bit. Uh, rub the edges right here and try to get the corners to pop out a little more. You can also stick your hand inside and uh, push out, so to speak on the seams and there we go guys uh, this is all at this exact moment this is where the flat iron would come in handy um, unfortunately I do not have that I should probably ask my mother to get me one <laughs> especially especially if I want to make these on a regular uh, a regular basis and hopefully you guys enjoy the video because um, I want to do this on a regular basis number one number two I would very much like to sell these so if you guys are interested in 
not doing the work yourself. <laughs> I will be making these as regularly as possible. Just tell me what color you want. Tell me, uh, tell me what design um, you would want on the front, because I can. It's gonna take some practice, guys. If I can put a design on there at some point, no promises as to when, but it will take some time. Uh, however, if you are making them yourself, uh, go ahead and fold the loop. Give it about, where's my tape measure? What did I say? About two and a quarter, two and a half inches. I'm giving it three right there. So let's go ahead slightly less. Yeah, you know what? That's good. Right there. Yep. Tug those out, flatten it just a little bit, put it in your sewing machine. Now, because I did mess up the two different lengths and it got really wonky, I am giving it about a quarter of an inch, maybe three eighths of an inch extra that I will end up cutting down but once that is said and done eh. Wait, okay. and now we just need to tie the ends of the thread together thing. That thing. Okay. Once again, oh, not exactly the prettiest, but effective. So basically guys, about half an hour to an hour worth of time and you can make this with oh, about six inches by three feet worth of material. Now, it, it also doesn't have to be three feet. It can be about two feet, two and a half feet. It just depends on how deep you want your pocket. Also, it doesn't have to be six inches. It could be a foot. It just depends on how wide you want your pocket as well. So, half an hour to an hour, and there you go, guys now have a belt pocket favor. Um, this one probably roughly the same size. Does my Pepsi fit in it? Yep, the exact same way. So there you go guys. You have a belt favor pocket. Um, it does look like it'll only fit about two inch belts, maybe two and a half uh, leather belts, but Go, everybody. I am going to go ahead and probably end the stream here. Th this was just one of those random tutorial videos, guys, for you. Um, I'll probably do more like this. I'm actually going to cut the excess off right here. Uh, I will do more videos like this in the future. 
either randomly crafting uh, belt favors, or I might do um, I might do weapon tutorials uh, in case any of y'all want to learn how to do uh, throwing weapons for amp guard. Uh, I know I've got a few that I really want to make again since I've got only two shop rooms. Um, I might do some quote-unquote throwing knives or uh, pucks, um, but definitely heavy throwing weapons. I would def I would go for my shop rooms. Now, very very long run. If I have a lot of padding and foam. I will do a tutorial on how to, sorry guys, I did mean to clap right there. Um, <laughs> clapping noise. Thank you. Thank you, D. Um, eventually, at some point, I'll probably do weapon tutorials, so you can do uh, throwing pucks, uh, basically just made out of foam and fabric, uh, fabric tape. Uh, probably throwing knives, which cylindrical pieces of foam um, wrapped in fabric tape or maybe some cloth covers to make them uh, look really nice. Uh, I'll probably do my shock rooms as well or I will even do um, my throwing mug which I cannot show you at this exact moment but it's basically the size of a QT mug. Uh, so I'll probably do some throwing weapons. I need to repair my pole arm, so I'll probably show you guys how to do that, how to make a pole arm uh, with six six feet plus of a bamboo floor. I'll probably show you guys how to do swords as well. Uh, I kind of want to. I kind of want to make a a mace for my uh, for my monk class and wizard class because I think both of them can use that. I, I think they can use the mace because that would be considered a short sword. Maybe. Uh, I'll show, I'll probably do a spell ball tutorial, which honestly that'll take like 20 minutes, maybe half an hour. Cause basically all it is, all it, ugh, all it is was a piece of fabric curled up into a ball with fabric or rubber bands or foam stuffed into it to make a actual fist sized ball. Um, and it has to have at least two inches or more of a tail to be a legit skull ball. It, it's not that hard. Um, also, because I'm very much of an archer, I will do a tutorial on arrowheads. So, ob obviously, I'll do, I'll do videos here and there of crafting garb or weapons. So... If you guys want to see any of that let me know stay tuned uh later throughout the month and i'll let you guys know what i'm doing and when i'm doing it on my facebook and discord if you're watching me on youtube um i will post one of these videos or at least try to every week um <sighs> oh, excuse me Ugh. But at the moment, I don't have enough foam, camping foam, the blue camping foam pads. I don't have enough at the moment to do uh, swords, maces, so on and so forth. I could probably do one shop room, but that's about it. Uh, I will live stream that. What's today? Tuesday night? I will live stream that Thursday night. post that <laughs> on Wednesday next week. I definitely have another two yards there and a yard and a half right here of black fabric. <laughs> so if you guys want me to, I will do another tutorial for several, several hours instead of an hour and a half just making belt favor after belt favor. Um, we can talk, hang out, do whatever we want. I might, I do have a couple shirts in there that I have not worn, 
fuck. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. I do have a, sh a couple of shirts in there. They're just uh, solid colors, so I can't really get much of a design. However, I can probably try to um, probably try to uh, practice. Uh, what's the word? Embroidery. I could probably practice embroidering uh, patterns onto fabric. Um, that's basically what. Uh, basically, practicing this uh, on the T-shirts. Not not exactly words, but I will be practicing certain patterns. Like I'll probably try try drawing out a wolf's head and practicing that, or a dragon and practicing that, or a bird and practicing that. So if you guys want to see a specific animal or symbol that you want me to try, let me know, and I will be testing that later this weekend. So thank you all for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the video so far. If Video if you're watching on YouTube. You know what I'm saying. Shut up. <laughs> Oh, uh, before I forget, I am still running my uh, Extra Life charity for Dell Children's Hospital in Austin. We are still attempting to raise $10,000. I am a I have not set it up yet, but I am about to set up a link to take you to my donation page. If it's just a dollar, it's still very much free. And for every one dollar that you donate, I will match. If you donate a hundred dollars, I will donate a hundred dollars. It would pay the ass on my end, but I'll do it. Also, we are still absolutely 100% doing the 24 hour live stream. May 20, uh, what did I say it was? May 28th? It'll be the end of the month, the last weekend of May. So that is going to be uh, May 29th. So May 29th, starting at 8 a.m., I will start a 24 hour live stream. And it'll go to the 30th on Sunday, 8 a.m. The live stream will probably go till about 9 a.m., uh, mainly as a winding down from 24 hours. But I will be running a 24 hour live stream, and at the end of the 24 hours, that's the cutoff for the charity. Uh, at that 24 hour mark, we will find out how much we have raised, both on donating directly to Extra Life. Auction because uh, I will be I will be crafting many more belt favors. At that point, I will have crafted hopefully several several belts of varying colors, whether it be one solid color, two color, three color, out of macrame and paracord. Uh, that video of making my first belt, I will absolutely. That way you guys know what your options are. I will be also asking around several of my friends, asking what kind of uh, what kind of stuff they like, whether it be like crafted flowers or leather items or just random like I have extra fabric. I'm going to make people headbands and sashes and tunics. So hopefully we can get some of that auctioned out as well also paintings hopefully so we will be running that auction and at the end of the 24 hour we will see how much we have raised on the auction how much we've raised going directly to the extra life and how much we have raised with uh, Lucifer, uh, I completely forgot what it was uh, 
we will, we will be doing stupid stuff. Uh, as a reminder, we will have a donation wheel. So anytime somebody donates a uh, hundred dollars, we will spin the wheel of torture and whatever is on it, we will do. Whether it be getting tags, eating canned scorpions, uh, eating eating uh, fried or canned octopus, uh, getting shot with a paintball, which we probably won't do because if we are uh, if we're here at the apartment, we could probably do paintball and I just have the person getting shot up against the dumpster and then shoot them in the back or the ass. Um, absolutely going to avoid having them face it because I don't want to shoot somebody in the balls or the tips or the face. Right? No. They're, they're going to have their back to us and we're shooting somewhere in the back or the ass. Uh, maybe they, they might get unlucky and get shot in the back of the neck. <laughs> But uh, paint balls will probably get several moon balls that we could chuck at people, if not slingshot at people. Uh, weird canned foods, taser. If I can figure out how to do it, we'll probably do a pommel horse as well. And for those of you who don't know what a pommel horse is, you will be straddling. Well, I'm not going to spoil but let's just say the guys are going to it. <laughs> anyway, everybody, I hope you would join us for that day. That is May 29th. And I hope you've enjoyed the, the video so far, guys. And if you have, let me know what you'd like to see me do. Let, me, let us know us being myself and uh, hopefully D. Hopefully I can get Sean to come back from Georgia. If he hasn't moved back to the Texas area yet, um, hopefully we can have uh, several other guest stars. And I think I have one in mind that I can probably ask. Maybe two if I can get a stuff. We will also be doing a D and D live stream during not separate live stream, but we will be doing D and D during that month. So look out for that, especially since we can go to homes and. having a cater for lunch, but uh, May 30th, I think I'm going to cook breakfast. We'll probably do the breakfast and food for Uh, $200 to tattoo somebody. That would be funny as hell. Uh, actually, we could put that on the donation bill. Once. You donate a hundred dollars and you spend a little. If it lands on a tattoo, then that person who donated gets to pick the tattoo. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. So if you donate, if, actually, no. Uh, if you donate two hundred dollars, then we put the tattoo on the wheel. If you donate a hundred dollars after that and we land on tattoo, then exactly uh, we will choose a place that your tattoo goes um, donate $200 and we put it on the wheel donate $100 and we land on it it'll be one tattoo per person so if I land on it twice then I get that first tattoo but the second tattoo that I land on goes to something else of my choosing. But we will only do one tattoo per person that is in the live stream. Um, whoever donates, you get to choose the tattoo, but we get to choose where it goes. That, that, that's actually a really good idea. Uh, if we can get a tattoo artist to come over specifically for those tattoos, then we will absolutely do that. It's going it's to be a bit of money, but we can absolutely do that. Uh, anyway, guys, like I was saying, let us know what games you, you want to see us play. Let, let me know what kind of crafts you want to see me do. And as always, guys, 
Thank you for joining the void. And I will see you in the next one. Later. <laughs>